Thank you, Caroline. Tonight, law enforcement from across New England and across the country getting ready to pay their respects to a Cape Cod officer tragically killed in the line of duty. A wake will be held tomorrow afternoon at St. Pius X Church, Church in South Yarmouth for Yarmouth K-9 officer Sean Gannon. Gannon was shot and killed on Thursday while serving in a arrest warrant. A funeral mass will be held on Wednesday. And we've learned a large contingent of police officers from across southern New England will be in attendance to show their support for their fallen brother. Eyewitness News reporter Eric Halperin joins us now with more details on the role local law enforcement will be playing in the memorial services. Eric. Shannon and Mike, officers from here in Rhode Island and southeastern Massachusetts will be going to those services. We got in touch with four local departments today. All four say they're sending officers in a couple days because they say they're all part of the law enforcement family. Wearing a mourning band over his badge, Lieutenant David Dyson with the Seekonk Police Department is sending his best to the Yarmouth Police Department as it copes with the loss of canine officer Sean Gannon. Really hard to fathom. It's uh, hard to understand. He didn't know Officer Gannon personally, but others in the Seekonk Police Department had trained with him before. Regardless, he says what Gannon's family and the Yarmouth community is dealing with hits close to home. We all do the same job. You know, whether we're a canine officer, we're a detective, a lieutenant, a chief, it doesn't matter. You know, we're all one of the same. That's why over the next couple days, members of the Seekonk Police Department will be heading to Yarmouth, including the Seekonk Police Honor Guard. Lieutenant Dyson says they'll be there for the police walkthrough during the wake on Tuesday and the funeral on Wednesday. Hopefully it gives some solace to the fact that we're all there in our uniforms and say, you know what? We've got you back on this. We're, we're here for you. The support has been pouring in since Thursday. Along with Seekonk, Eyewitness News has spoken with Rhode Island State Police, Providence Police, and Cranston Police. All say they'll have officers at the services, too. One big family. That, you know, that's what it comes down to. And as we've been reporting, Officer Gannon's canine, Nero, is also recovering after being shot on Thursday. An update on his condition, that's coming up new at 6. I'm Eric Halpern, Eyewitness News.